love has never been stronger I'm up in the clouds when you're around But when you're not, it's getting much harder And I'm falling down, down, I'm falling Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It is officially spring, so that means I want to deep clean my entire house before the gardening season starts. In about a month, there will be a massive shift in workload. A garden means a lot of work, and then I don't have a lot of time for cleaning tasks inside anymore. So I want to get it all done. Um, if you're new, my name is Lenny. I live in the Netherlands, and I do all kinds of videos, cleaning, homemaking, vlogs. So if you're new, definitely hit the subscribe button and follow my journey here on YouTube. And if you like cleaning videos, also make sure you give this video a big thumbs up it means a lot to me as a small youtuber and that way i know what kind of videos you're interested in so i can make more of that content in the future and it also makes it a lot easier for others to find my videos so gardening season is around the corner i also have a little vegetable garden that needs work so it is a race against the clock to get the spring cleaning done uh, to be honest i wanted to start already a month ago but i felt so not ready uh, we had cold weather here in the netherlands we even had snow uh, and I was not getting those highly needed spring vibes to give me motivation for spring cleaning. I was just super tired all the time. And I think like many people, my vitamin D tank was just empty at the end of winter. So I really need the sun to get my energy back. Uh, but now Easter is in two weeks and we are hosting. So I really need to get started. As a working mom of three kids and a husband with a very irregular job, it is challenging to deep clean room by room. Uh, that is how I always did it before, but it takes too much time at once and that means that all the other rooms are being neglected. So before I was working five hours per day for five days a week, but I changed my job and now I work longer days. And on the days that I'm off, I have so many other things to do. So I had to change my strategy somehow because I'm super busy at the moment. Um, so I made a practical to-do list with all the cleaning tasks per room so I can just tick off the boxes when a task is done uh, so that way when I have an hour here or there or just 20 minutes I can look at my checklist and do something of the list um, so that way I'm slowly working through my checklist it doesn't affect my normal cleaning routine as much and well I just love ticking off boxes of a to-do list uh, somehow I find that satisfying. So I'm happy to share my checklist with you. If you go to my website, www.lennyslovechaos.com and subscribe to my newsletter, I will send it to you for free. I see your face on all of the pages In the scrapbook of my mind To put it down for a while takes ages Then I'm falling So 
So this part I filmed a little while ago on a gray and rainy day. I wanted to completely clean and declutter my wardrobe. Uh, I knew this was going to take some time, but I was super proud of myself after I did it. I went through a lot of my clothes and shoes and I got rid of so much. Um, I have to say it wasn't easy. Maybe you saw me doubting here and there in the video, but I felt great afterwards. Uh, I think decluttering is an ongoing process. We are constantly bringing new things in our house. So every now and then we need to get rid of the items that we don't use anymore so some of the things I recycled but I also donated a lot to the charity organization or the second-hand shop uh, when you do a decluttering task it is easy to get overwhelmed so I would recommend to take it in small steps just don't take one Saturday to declutter your entire house um, I believe in the how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time strategy. I often clear out one drawer or one shelf and then it only takes five or ten minutes maximum. And when you keep doing this, I really hope that one day I have a clean and clutter-free home. Um, because right now that feels like a mission impossible. When you um, have kids like me, um, they... they always bring so much clutter in in the house drawings crafts collectible items like bird feathers stones and rocks and leaves and stuff um, and the worst part is when you secretly threw away something in the trash and they find out uh, then I feel like the worst mom ever. So if you're watching and you're a mom I'm really curious how you deal with this so please leave me a comment down below. how much we decluttered and it felt so good. If you're wondering about the cloth organizers that I use for storing sweaters and trousers, this is actually the first time that I'm trying them and it's now three weeks later and I'm happy about them. So far, this has been working for me. Instead of going through a pile of items, I see very clearly what I have because it's stored uh, vertically. Um, I was not sure if I would have the discipline to keep it organized, but so far it is going really well. Uh, you can get them practically everywhere online if you look for cloth organizers. Here you see me in Charlotte's room. I start with all the bedding and I throw everything in the washer. Then I'm turning the mattress and to freshen up the mattress, I always use a mixture of baking soda and a few drops of an essential oil. I chose lavender oil this time. You can use peppermint or if there's another scent that you like go for it. Um, I sprinkle that on top of the mattress, I rub it in, let it sit for as long as possible but at least three hours and then I vacuum it up. Um, I read some comments on the internet that this is not very good for your vacuum cleaner so I don't recommend to do it too often. Um, I clean my mattresses only once a year so I think my vacuum cleaner will survive. Uh, it is going strong for many years already so as long as you don't do this very often I think your vacuum cleaner will be fine too. I do the same in the master bedroom uh, this is in the morning and after about five hours I vacuum everything up. I can hear you within the silence. And 
And then I sprayed some Zoflora for extra disinfection on the mattress. Uh, Zoflora kills 99% of the bacteria and viruses. So if you know how many liters of sweat goes in that mattress every single night, I think this is not an unnecessary luxury. Um, then my husband helped me move the bed so I could vacuum behind it. Um, that's also something we do once a year, like for spring cleaning. Um, there is always a lot of dust on the sideboards and I never get everything off with just a vacuum cleaner. So I like to brush it off first to loosen it up and then vacuum it up with a vacuum cleaner. And I will watch you breath after breath. When the mattress is completely dry, I start making the bed again. Uh, I washed all the layers, the mattress protection covers and all. Um, I really wanted to dry the sheets outside, but unfortunately it was raining again. We had so much rain here in March and it does something with your mind or, or your mindset. You're really longing for typical spring weather and every time you're like disappointed, it is another gray and rainy day. Um, but all we need is a bit of sun. Uh, yeah, this year, I think Mother Earth is really testing us. Uh, on the other hand, as long as the weather is like this, what else can we do than to stay inside and get the cleaning done? Sometimes what you want ain't what you need. Sometimes letting go can make your heart bleed Sometimes the road ahead seems dark as night yeah. Have some faith in yourself, that's the garden You should know that when your dreams have hit the ceiling and fallen back down on the ground. Let me tell you, I know the feeling I used to live in that town. One door closes, another swings open, that's life. And not to dwell upon The darkest hour, they say Is just before dawn You might take a fall But you can bounce right back mm. Go to town Dressed up like a heart attack Cause you know that When your dreams have Hit the ceiling and fallen back down on the ground Let me tell you I know the feeling I used to live in that time Swings open 
that's life And let it dwell upon The darkest hour, they say It's just before dawn Yeah Before dawn, the darkest hour they say is just before dawn. Just before dawn. Charlotte, I decluttered her room a little while ago, so that is why the drawers are so empty and tidy. Um, my laundry room, on the other hand, is a bomb explosion at the moment. Um, so here it seems like my child doesn't have any clothes, but a lot of them are in laundry bins. So I'm trying to rotate as much as I can, um, but I always get behind on folding and putting things away. Um, well, nobody's perfect, right? <laughs> Obsess about you 
But if only you could see It's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks Wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes so here you see how my bathroom cabinet got a bit out of control and this is a typical example of how I'm working on my to-do list in smaller steps. After I put my kids to bed they like to hear me so they know that I'm not so far away. Uh, so I decided to clean and tidy my beauty products while I waited for the kids to fall asleep. This took me about 20 to 30 minutes and when I open the drawer now my brain is very happy. Um, I have an ADHD brain so I need structure uh, but it's super difficult for me to actually achieve that um, so I thrive by lists and routines but as soon as it, as it gets boring I need to change my system uh, what is very helpful is to have someone to help me clean uh, when my kids help or when my husband helps me I try to do the room together so that way I have someone to help me once I get distracted and trust me that happens a million times a day so my brain is super busy all the time um, music also helps or listening to an audiobook. Uh, then my brains are focused on listening instead and I can hopefully accomplish the task that I was doing. Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile? Where's the happy girl that I know with the heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now. But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes So another task on my to-do list is done. Follow along and subscribe to my newsletter on my website www.lennyslovandchaos.com. Um, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and that your notification bell is on so you don't miss my next video. Um, if you watched all the way to the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And then I hope to see you back on my channel soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes We are all about the good The good vibes We are all about the good The good times Dance until it feels alright All night We're all about the good vibes All about the good